First, police vests are coming under fire in more ways than one. In Phoenix, an investigation is now underway after a bullet passed right through a Kevlar vest, seriously wounding an officer. CBS 5's Heather Moore joins us live from the Phoenix Police Department with the details on this tonight. Heather? Catherine and seen an internal memo went out to Phoenix police officers last week asking them to be aware of their bulletproof vests and the level of protection they provide. It alerted them to an investigation triggered by something that many officers had never seen before. It's critical. We want all of our officers to wear a vest and we want them to have confidence in that vest. That confidence is being questioned after an ex-con fired a 40 caliber round through a Phoenix police officer's bulletproof vest just over a week ago. A surprise to veteran officers. This is the first time in my recollection of almost 30 years that I recall a vest uh, being penetrated. Phoenix Law Enforcement Association's Joe Clore says this first is concerning. 30-year-old officer Anthony Daly was shot at close range in the abdomen which was covered by a Kevlar ballistic vest manufactured three years ago by Custom Armor Technologies no longer in business. We want to know what happened and, and um, you know, is there a potential that it could happen again? The hollow point bullet fired right through the lower edge of the vest. And according to the National Institute of Justice, that may not qualify as a failure for the soft body armor. When you look at the NIJ standards, um, it talks specifically about um, the two to three inch um, margin of the outer edge of the vest as p potentially not having the same ballistic protection as uh, the center mass area. An investigation is underway, but in the meantime, the issue of safety is paramount and officers are encouraged to wear their bulletproof vests. And these vests have proven themselves time and time again. Thousands of officers across the country have uh, been saved by these vests. So they're not only encouraged, they are highly recommended. In fact, each Phoenix police officer is given an $800 stipend every five years to purchase the vest of their choice and of their comfort level. Right now, the department is trying to figure out how to keep other officers safe who may be using the same type of vest that Officer Daly was wearing. We are live in Phoenix tonight. I'm Heather Moore, CBS 5 News.